Hi friends, hope you are enjoying the series on this pandas uh, working on the data frames. We have finished the introduction part. Now we are in the deep inside the how to import export data from different different formats. So in this, we'll, now we will uh, learn how we will interact with the database. So our data frame will interact with the database. So here two types of database will be under, uh, learning or understanding. In that one is MySQL which is a network based and another one is SQLite which is a file based one. So this MySQL already we have one tutorial where in depth we have explained or we have discussed how the data frame can interact with MySQL database to take out the data at, or push the data to the MySQL database and all. So that tutorial link is there here it is and it is in the description is there you can see that. The similar concept we will be moving towards now to our Google Colab the cloud platform where we will be creating a SQLite database and interact with it and create, uh, push the data frame data to it and take out the data and this uh, advantage of Colab platform is you need not have to depend on your local installation at all you can entirely work on the Colab platform and understand how the database integration works and it is the common uh, code once your database is, uh, connection is established and you have created the, it is very common whatever uh, SQL you use it see, whatever commands you use it that same thing works in MySQL or SQLite or any other database also because the finally the query is the common okay little difference is there in different database so that part will learn and will mostly focus on collab platform now we are now in our collab platform so first we are importing pandas so next line will go for to create the data frame we'll use the same student xls file to create our data frame and from that we'll interact with our sqlite so pd dot read excel now here I am giving student.xlx so this is the student file but this file I have not yet uploaded so I have to upload it now going to this drive then I have upload to session storage so it will be available in this session only let me uh, come back to my data here it is data drive now here I think this is my excel file uh, yes second one I am opening it okay this is available in this session only so i have to save it elsewhere okay now this is file is there now let me just for our testing i am just df dot sorry i will print first 10 records df dot head so this will print the top five rows by default i can give you yeah. so my data frame is created now let me just come to the next line i have to write a write a lot of code here now to create or to interact with uh, SQLite or any other database I have to import certain library and these libraries are already installed in this platform so that is the advantage of using that uh, import create engine and text so this uh, SQL alchemy this library is installed in the available already in the Google platform so I am just using it so again to handle the error messages uh, error messages the I have to import the error module so import SQL all give me error so this two I'll be using it so then what happens is path uh, this is the path means here in the because I don't have choice here because I, it will be in the session storage otherwise if you are using in a local machine you can give a uh, C drive directory name all this thing now I am saying SQLite now here I am my data dot db here this my data dot db is the sqlite database what i am going to create now so that i will be using it so once i run this this database the db will be created if it is not existing otherwise it will just make a connection i think here i did a l c h e m y uh, resolved s q a l c h e this is not e this is c so this should work yeah so now let's connect my connection equal to k 
create engine. This engine I will be interacting frequently with my query part. So I am giving path. So path is just above what you have declared it. Now let me connect it. Actually, this particular line is required in the advanced version of uh, SQL Alchemy. Earlier, this line was not required. Uh, connect. So I have to connect once to the my corner connect fine now my connection is established if at this stage there is no error means my database will be created so how i will try the how i will check whether it is created or not okay let us do one thing let's run up to this and see i run this no error now here what i will do i'll refresh it you can see here my data dot db is created this file this file is created here so this is the database but no table nothing is there if it would have been existing then it will just connect it i can run it once again because now it is existing so it is fine so now let's use a try and then you know it's a it's a standard code block you can keep it for further uh, working on this uh, part so i am just saying try result equal to my connection this is what the connection object we have created execute now inside that text i am creating a text inside the text i will write a query now in this query i am saying select name from where sqlite master this particular table holds the entire details of our um, of our database so whatever the tables are there what i am trying to do is listing out all the entries from there so every time i run this i create a table this code will list out what is there where type equal to table this is a standard for the sqlite and this is i can run anytime and get the result for row now i had to loop through so result result is what i got it print row so now the each table name will be printed here. So now what happens is suppose there is an error in that case. What I am saying SQL AL I do often do mistake here ALCHS alchemy error. What we have imported at the top as E. Now this is the standard code you can keep it ready anytime any uh, where you can use that str dot e dot i am just calling what is the error from the error module i will get the data so i will print that one so that is what i am this is the standard it is from the live uh, from the manual it is taken so you can just keep that one so as e error equal to this now let me come back to next line print error so let's just see what happens here error e underscore sorry here i missed here not dash dash this should be let's just uh, as e sql except sql alchemy error as e now in this i am not maintaining indent why it is showing hope this is fine let's see run this up to this point and see why it is coming error uh, as except oh sorry here i i can't give this this should be at the end so let's run this and see okay fine no output there is no error so if there would have been any table here then that would have been printed in the line number nine now let's add the data frame to the to a table so i am adding a code block here so do this new uh, single line only df dot to sql this is the command this is the function which will push the data to the our uh, sqlite database now here first thing is con where is the connection what's the connection object you have to use here we had already declared my connection this one what is that this line number for this we are using it my connection so here then name we have to give name means what is the table name we should have here i am let's make it a student you want anything any these two you must give it and another thing is suppose replay uh, suppose if exist it means if the table is already existing then what it should do it should uh, there are three options i will get 
fail means raise the error this is there so it can't be uh, added replace it a new one will come off in that place so that is the one and the third one choice is we have append means add the records bottom of the existing one so if exist equal to now we'll say replace it's up to you whatever based on your logic whatever you want so that's all now what happens if i run this this table should be created but how i will confirm it so let's just run it once and see whether any error is there no errors 35 this this returns the number of records inserted in the uh, the table so this returns a integer so number of records so i got it already 35 here so that means it is successful now still let me just run up to this much only and see that what is the uh, let me what is the table name is there because that code is this particular from sqlite master this will be stored so if i run this i should get the table my whatever the tables are available inside the database i should get the output let me run this you can see here student this is how we'll transfer a data frame to a database the code remains same if you are using uh, sql also mysql or anything now let's just because we have a database let's just run a simple query and see the records result equal to now here i am saying my connection whatever I, we have connected now execute now here inside text now here i am saying my query here sql structured query language select star means all the tables from student because my student is already there so that is my this execution now what i will do is uh, this part i will copy I, I could have copied the entire thing so i could have checked the error message what i am going to do is i'll write the entire this one here and replace this uh, select okay select here i am writing uh, let me remove this top line not required select star means all the columns from student fine that will give me the all the rows of the student column and in case there is an error this will there though this is not a complex code let me run this and see yeah you can see all the records are 35 records now let's create one error here i am just giving student 2 where is this table is not there so this should generate me an error it will tell me because of second part except part no such table student 2 so that is how we are getting and here before we conclude this is the you can click this and go to the page here and practice the entire uh, your source code everything is there that's all friends hope you have understood the concept it is collab or visual studio code anything the code remains same interacting with the database only the connection part slight change will be there so if you understood this then you can apply this to any other database in any platform so i will just request you every chapter contains one set of questions do practice that questions the link is there at the description and these questions will help you to build the logical thinking so that way you can will be more benefited as you can your concept will be clear on on those uh, on these topics so i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestion questions Use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.